close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. Notice where you feel the breath. Does it feel comfortable? If it does, stay with it. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Make the breath longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, whatever feels good right now. And keep your attention right here. You're training the mind because you're focusing on the breath, but the mind is what's getting trained to stay with something, to watch it, and to be very careful and be observant. Because when you're observant with the breath, you're right at a spot very near where the mind itself is, so you can see the movements of the mind clearly. And this is important because the mind is what shapes your experience of the world. The world you live in comes out of your mind. As you train the mind, you focus on the most important thing in the world right now. Because if you want to live in a good world, that goodness has to come out of the mind. Otherwise, bad things come out of the mind, and then you complain that the world is a bad place. You have to look at what's coming out of your mind. That's what's shaping things. It's coming out in the words you say and the things you do, the things you think. And that has an impact on the world around you. You can't wait for the goodness of the world to come first and that you respond in a good way. The goodness has to come from within. So you have to give the mind a good, comfortable place to stay, a place where it has a sense of well-being. So it has the strength and the, the willingness to be the first to be generous, say, or the first to abstain from something that's harmful. When you look around you, as someone once said, if you don't like the news of the world, well, make some news of your own. What kind of news are you making with your actions? One more human being go, goes out and just creates a lot of trouble. That's not the kind of news you want. You want the kind of news where a human being makes the world a better place to live. And which human being is that going to be? Well, it has to start with you. And where does that start? It starts right here at the mind. So you want to train the mind so at the very least it can focus where you want it to focus and stay there and be very clear about what it's seeing. That's what we're trying to develop as we stick with the mind. Think about if everybody in the world could do this, the world would be a much better place. But again, you can't wait for everybody else. You've got to be the first one. So start right here. Train your mind to be a good mind. And then your words will be good words, and your actions will be good actions, and the world in which you live will be a much better world. Pay attention to what's coming out of the mind as opposed to what's coming in through your eyes and ears. If what comes out of the mind is good, then what's going to come in eventually is going to be good too. And at the very least, you're with a good source of energy right here. That makes the world a much more livable place. So focus your energy right here and learn how to train the mind through meditation, through generosity, through observing the precepts like we took just now. And you'll notice that not only are you a happier person, the people around you are going to benefit too. The world will be a much better place. But it all has to start right here.